Welcome, brothers and sisters, my name is Eros and I am the Zona. Today we will talk a little more about mindset. So I'm taking for granted you watch the first episode because it will be necessary for this lesson. As always, please do remember, I am not a native English speaker and forgive me if I get a little carried away in this topic, but I really do believe it's the most important one on our magical practice. Today we will talk about the war inside. What do I mean? We have defined that mind control is the weapon we use to fight the war inside. We need to define the battlefield. Some say the battlefield is within our minds, some say that we fight uh, within and against some emotions, some say that we fight towards evil. Instead of giving a straightforward answer, let's try to deduce it. We fight with thoughts and emotions, we know this. We fight against thoughts that destabilize us, for example, the ones derived from social pressure or from our environment, thoughts derived from our past experiences, and prejudices that, uh, that we may have encountered or prejudices living inside of us. Bringing us to form dark foreshadowing of the future, expecting the worst. We fight against heavy emotions dragging us down. For example, past traumas striking back or emotions we cannot explain. For example, in my case, anxiety, depression or panic. And we fight against self-induced emotions, so chains we put on ourselves. From this reasoning, we deduce that our mind is an amazing time machine. Why do I say this? Because emotions, our emotions, links us to the past and our past experiences. And thoughts, our thoughts, bring us towards the future and dark projection of our future if we don't control them. Because, again, our brain is an amazing machine but it is designed to make us survive, not to make us happy. So we tend to expect the worst, to be able to fight against it if the worst presents itself. But we can clearly see through this reason, and there are many studies, from the most important researchers, that the most important factor for our success, regardless if we are male or female, regardless of our skin color, regardless of our social distraction, is self-control. Self-control applied through mind control requires to be present and in the present. Self-control is the most important factor for your prosperity, for your love life, for your work situation, for your sport achievements, for example. Just to cite some, just to quote some. If this is true for all of these factors, it is also true for your magical and or spiritual practices. Self-control is again achieved through mind control. 
through condition and repetition. Do form habitudes and thought patterns. Thought patterns can be amazing for you if you forge them, but they can be terrifying if you build self courses. Coming from the past and our experiences, conditioning our future. Through the use of mind control, being present, we deduce that the war inside is about perception. And ah, let me explain. If we were to be deprived of all of our senses, smell, vision, touch, hearing, taste, we will have no experience of the past and no sensorial experience of the past through perception. We would be like if we were to be trapped in a void cocoon. And we will also not be able to foresee the future in our minds because we will have no experience and no sensorial experience. Just like if we were to be lost in a lifeless ocean. The way we are, the way we are built, we can only experience the present. The past is a memory, defining our formation and who we are. But our past should not be able to condition our actions and our decisions. The projection we have of our future should be not conditioned by our thoughts but should be where we want to be and who we want to be not where we guess we will be or someone told us we will be so what do i suggest is take aggressive action now in the present Make decisions now, or decisions will be made for you, as my Lord teaches. There is always a will. It's either yours, a superior, or a different one. So, please, decide. Don't think you've decided, or that you have been forced to decide or that you're obligated to decide. The war inside is happening now and as fighters we need to act in the present moment. We can't stay still to remember the past or always try to foresee our future. Take meaningful action now. Condition yourself. Forge habitudes. Maintain. Focus while being bombarded by thoughts through conditioning. This discipline is the key to live your life and not to survive to your life and true your life. With this technique, you will become able to dodge the bullets that are shot in this war inside and this war within. Especially the bullet you shoot yourself towards yourself. Now, we still need to confront the monsters we held inside, emerging from the past, but we will see how in the next lesson. Until then, brothers and sisters, fighters, you may need or want to rebel 
against external sources or factors. But the war inside is happening now and you need to be able to follow your orders with discipline and determination. This is why we use mind control. Until then, I deeply thank you for your kind attention and may eternal light shine upon you.